Good morning, friends, and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. The day that I am filming this video is um, the 31st of December, so New Year's Eve. I have some specific goals that I'm going to be implementing in January, so that starts for me tomorrow, and I'll share more about that on my um, next Wellness Wednesday. But we have kind of a fun day in store today uh, because my brother and sister-in-law for a Christmas gift for the kids they are paying for all of us to go to this really big water park here in Oregon that um, the kids are super excited about. So we're going to be going out and doing that this afternoon. And I often do what I eat in a day videos when I'm home and when I'm doing a lot of cooking. And those are fun, but I thought it also might be kind of interesting to do a what I eat in a day on a busier day when I'm out and about a little bit more. I'm not going to be tracking my food on Carb Manager like usual in these videos. I know it's really interesting for a lot of people to see how the calories break down, but for today, considering we might eat out and different stuff, I just decided to keep it simple and just do an on-the-go type what I eat in the day without all the tracking. So I already had my coffee this morning and I was out of my mixed creamer mix with the collagen and everything. So I just put in a little bit of the MCT oil powder and a little bit of the coconut powder. I need to get another batch of that mixed up and then I already drank that. And I'm about to grab some breakfast real quick. I am going to have leftover pizza. I made pizza last night with um, egg white bread crust. It was super, super good. You can see it doesn't have any cheese on it. I'm trying to get rid of the dairy and I am getting rid of the dairy come January 1st. The pizza isn't completely dairy free though because I did use the butter powder in the crust. So I wanted to eat some of this up today before tomorrow comes. I'll probably pack some with me when we go later today just in case I need to eat something while we're on the go. But basically for the recipe what I did was I did my butter bun recipe that I showed you in a video um, very recently. I added two teaspoons of Italian seasoning and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder to the batter at the end and mixed that in there and then I spread it onto my pans that were lined with parchment paper. Cooked it for um, I think it was either 10 or 15 minutes until it was just barely set. And then I brushed the crust with olive oil and sprinkled it with the flake salt, just the, you know, the edge crust. And then I put the toppings on and baked it at 400. So I par baked it first at 325 and then I baked it at 400 after I had all the toppings on it for about 15 minutes. And it was really good. Um, I didn't hardly miss the cheese at all, except that cheese provides a glue that holds all the toppings together. So I had to be careful that the toppings didn't all fall off. But besides that, the taste was really, really good. I am going to have three pieces, and the toppings on this are um, Canadian bacon, pepperoni, salami, black olives, and artichoke hearts, and of course red sauce. So we thought the snow was done, but we woke up to another dusting, and the snow is still falling. Mm -hmm. So we're going to enjoy it now. I really think this time it will be done. We're supposed to have rain all next week, but we're enjoying the beautiful snow for one more day. What are you going to do? I'm just going you what? I got this. You got that? Who's that for? Are you going to eat it? No. No? Who's going to eat it? Chickens. Oh, you're going to go feed the chickens? Yeah. They're probably so hungry out there in the snow. If we don't spread out some food in snow, then they will come out and eat it. That's so nice. Yeah, when they come, when we don't spread out in snow. Yeah, yeah. Out. It's a very Not good job taking care of your chickens. I don't want to um, feed my chickens. I want to feed my chickens out of okay. chicken coop. Not of, in chicken coop. Oh, coops. I see. In chicken coop. Yeah, they can lay eggs in the chicken coop. And but, they can eat outside. But, but can tell Jack for eggs. Yeah, she will. Hey, Tom. Um, you, you, hey, Tom, are you ready? The snow fell on your tongue? No, it didn't. Oh, it didn't? Yeah. Well, did you open your mouth really big? 
No, I did. And, but, it, didn't, and it didn't work? Yeah. Oh, man. I did it on the other side because they don't like me. The chickens? No. Or no, the snowflakes? No, snowflakes. The snowflakes don't like you. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys check for any eggs? Yeah, but, but there was no eggs. No eggs? Oh, no. I'm using up my bag of MCT oil powder. There wasn't very much in there. We'll add a little coconut milk powder. I'm pulling out some snacks to bring with us. What snacks do you like the best, Levi? Um, this. Crackers, yeah, for the kids. They're going to have some of the almond flour crackers. Also for the kids, grab some pork rinds. These ones have dairy, so I'm not eating them right now, but they're my favorite. They're so good. I could eat some of these if I wanted to, but we'll see. What do you think of that? It looks good. It does look good. I like it. I do too. I like both of them. What's your favorite kind of pork rinds? Um, Pickle, ones. ranch, cheese, like salt and vinegar. I like this. This one? Do you know what kind this is? Yeah. What kind? Um, salt and vinegar. No, pickle. Dill pickle. Oh, I like it. You like dill pickle? Yeah. It's very good. It smells good? Yeah. Okay. I also am throwing in a couple packs of olives from Trader Joe's. Um, this is really good. I ordered this online when it was um, a Black Friday deal. I stocked up on the beef biltong. This is the peppered one. They're really yummy. And then a couple of beef sticks for whoever I needs them. And the that car. is our snackiness I for while we're out. Car? You want to eat it in the car? Yeah. I'm also going to throw in a little uh, container of my mocha creamer mix just in case I want to grab a coffee while we're out. Oh. Do you want to grab a coffee while we're out? No. No? I don't like them. You don't like coffee? What do you like instead? Just cheese and this. Just cheese? No, no, just crackers and this. Crackers and pork rinds? Yeah. Okay. There's a funny pig on there. There is a funny pig on there, huh? Yeah, and there's a blue pig on yeah, there. Yeah, and, and it's got a um, crown on. That is so silly. Why do they have pistol head sounds on? Maybe they're king pigs. I am getting my electrolyte drink mixed up the first one of the morning, and then I'm definitely going to refill it and take this with me when I go um, to have in the car. And when you're swimming, you can get dehydrated really easily, so I'm definitely going to be sipping on this. I'm out of all of my favorite flavors, which is quite painful painful place to be, but I'm um, using up all of my lesser favorites. I like them all. They're all good, but I just have some that I like the best. Um, but watermelon lime is really growing on me because I've been drinking it a lot because I had a, like a whole one to use up and it's actually really good. So I do two scoops in my 40 ounce cup and that makes it just how I like it. And I usually will do one to two of these 40 ounce cups in a day just kind of depends. The other flavors I'm using up are the pina colada and let's see the oh the mango. So I have an order coming. Um, it should be delivered actually pretty soon and it has the strawberry lemonade which is still I think my top favorite. Some uh, mixed berry which is also very very good and then lemon lime. So those three are my top three and then these three are my still good but not in my top three. It's a little after 12 right now and um, we're leaving real soon and I'm not really that hungry but I know if I don't eat now I will regret it later. So I'm making some air fryer chicken bars. I just seasoned them with some Redmond seasoned salt. I'm gonna throw them in my air fryer, cook them up. I'll probably eat a couple and then just take the rest with me and eat them in the car if I feel like I need them. There's my finished meat bars and I'm gonna have a little bit of this dipping sauce. I saw this on Amazon for a really cheap price for a pack of four to try their different flavors and it has really clean ingredients So I was excited to try it. This is the one that had No sugar. The other ones had a little bit of fruit in them, but um, they all looked really good. Hi uh, <laughs> Hi All right, we're headed out to go swimming and we're picking up my husband on the way. We got the whole crew Everybody ready to go swimming? Yes! Yes! 
here we are, wings and waves. Everyone needs to remember to stand up real tall so you can get into the ride and stuff. <laughs> Levi, stand up real tall so you can go down the big slide, okay? <laughs> it's okay, that, we're just joking. <laughs> This is the Golden Valley Restaurant. This is one of um, your great grandma and grandpa's favorite restaurants. So and you Papa Ben and Grandma Ben? No, my grandparents. So Papa Ben's mom and stepdad. Everyone had such a fun time at the water park. That was just such a fun Christmas gift. Um, while we were out, what I ate for a snack was one of the beef chopsticks and one of the packets of olives. That's all I ended up needing while I was out. Also, of course, I sipped on my electrolyte drink while we were in the car. That was wonderful. And then, like you saw, we went to a restaurant after and um, I decided to splurge. We don't go out to eat very often. It's actually pretty rare that we go to like a family sit down restaurant. And so if we did that like every week, I wouldn't be able to splurge every time. But since it's so rare, I decided to splurge and I got a 12 ounce New York strip steak. It was super good. And I just asked for extra vegetables instead of mashed potatoes. So the veggies were like zucchini, um, onions, and peppers, I think. I didn't eat all of them because it was a lot, but I ate the whole steak. That was really, really good. A very special treat. So that's an example of a day eating on my regular baseline diet without tracking. I will be adding in some lean days here in January coming up soon. So you can look forward to videos where I show a lean day as well as a regular day because I, do, I don't do more than one lean day in a row. If I do a lean day, I always do a regular higher fat day after at least one, sometimes two. So if you're interested in that kind of video, those will be coming up soon. I hope you guys are having a good new year so far and I will see you again in another video.